children in New Zealand present to emergency departments incredibly commonly. It's the biggest interaction that children have with the healthcare system outside of primary care. And the children that do worse in our health statistics, so Māori, Pacific, those who live in the most deprived parts of our society present more commonly. And it's these children that the research is serving that's being supported by Cure Kids. We need to train the next group of professionals coming through, but we also need to address the unanswered questions for the care of those children. And that's what the Cure Kids research supports. It allows us to address those unanswered questions to provide better acute care to those children who are coming through our doors every day. What we really need is we need to have a healthcare system where every child who presents to an emergency department in New Zealand actually receives world-class care. And in order to do that, we need to empower the doctors and nurses who are looking after those patients with high quality data about how to best care for those children. And what we've been able to achieve over a number of years is looking at better management of those children. So we've focused on better ways to give them fluid, we've focused on better ways to give them respiratory support, and we now have research which has been funded by Cure Kids, which is a large project that we're leading across Canada and Australia and New Zealand, which is focusing on preventing those children deteriorating when they do come into hospital. I suppose another area that we've worked on recently has been in children who are having seizures. And we were using a medication which was over 50 years old in order to treat those seizures. And that medication had quite a number of serious side effects associated with it as well. So we were the first in the world to look at a newer class of anticonvulsant drug to be given to those children. And what's now happened is that children around the world are now receiving that medication first rather than the older medication. So that prevents more children getting the serious adverse events. One of the issues with all research is actually getting it into clinical practice. They talk about the average time to get high quality research into clinical practice to be 17 years. And that's an incredibly long time. What we've been able to do with that research into um, epilepsy is that we've actually taken that to less than a year. So between the time that the manuscript was published and out there to everyone using that was actually less than one year. And that's incredibly useful to the families who are coming through the door of the emergency department. So one of the great things about the Cure Kids research support is it's allowed us to mentor other researchers. So it's not only supporting me, but it's supporting other senior nurses and senior doctors who work in paediatric emergency medicine. The support that Cure Kids give to the four professorial chairs is incredibly important in terms of not only um, the support for our research, but it's also the support for the next generation of researchers coming through. So what they do is they create a legacy of high quality researchers in paediatric medicine across New Zealand. I, I think what's unique about Cure Kids is really the breadth of their research. It's not focused in one particular area. What it focuses on is it's focused on actually better care for the children. So the idea that big research makes a difference to little lives, you know, that's their slogan. But actually, that's incredibly important because, you know, our children are our future. And what we want to do is actually try and deliver a healthcare system that actually gives them the best start to life.